I made this animation in Blender some months ago. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. First, let's delete the default cube and add a plane. Go to the modifier tab and add an ocean modifier. Then we're going to change the resolution and the render to 14. The resolution controls the intensity of the waves in the viewport and the render controls how it will also look like in the rendered version when you render it out. So we're going to be animating this with the time option over here. So we'll go to frame one, another keyframe at one, and we'll go to frame 150 and add a keyframe, make it four. Next, we're going to change the interpolation mode from Bezier to constant uh, to linear. So we'll go to the timeline, make sure your case size in the timeline, right click, go to interpolation mode and change it to linear. This is to ensure that it's going to be a smooth transition, a constant um, flow, like from one point to the, uh, to the other. So it won't slow down and go faster. It's just go at a constant rate, just like how usually oceans work. Now, what we are going to do next is the environment itself. So we are going to go into rendered mode here and change this to our sh shader editor. Then we'll go to the world view, make sure in the world view and add Press Shift T to add a sky texture, just type the sky texture in there and connect it to the background. And bring this up so that you can see it a bit. So next we're going to change the values here. So we change the air value from 1 to 0 0.003, the dust from 1 to 0 0.001, and the ozone to 3. And as you can see, this is what it does to our environment. You can increase the dust a bit if you would also like. Um, in some videos, I'll use the dust value of 0 0.8, but as you can see, it's a bit too much sometimes. So let's just use 0 0.001 for now, or 0 0.1. But let's just use 0 0.001 for now. Okay. So next, we're going to give our plane a material, ocean a material. So go to the material tab add a new material and bring the color to black and roughness to zero. So we have this dark background, perfect. So let's go into the front view and let me bring this down a bit and set the camera to the front view with control alt zero. So we can click the camera and move it up a bit. And I think that is perfect. Here we can now add whatever objects we want to our scene. So Let's say I size add an icosphere over here, make it metallic so that it looks cool. Something, can just add anything to your scene here. And light it however you like, but yeah, this is the environment. So I used something else, I used the 500 logo which is over here, 500 model. Right. So you, you can change, if you want to be able to just see your render without seeing the background here, you can view that here in the viewport display, just increase the buzzer power to one, and just focus on what you are looking through the camera. Now you can render this out, you can play the animation, you can change this to timeline and play the animation, and you would have your animation like that. So when this happens, you can, it means that the camera is too, like it's too close to the ocean. So you can just bring it up a bit like that, and bring this down a bit, and that should work out fine now. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. If you have anything you can add, I would be very grateful for your input. Thank you guys and have a good time.